So I'm from uh, Montreal, Canada. I go to the University of Montreal, uh, studying political science at the bachelor's level. And uh, I'm finishing my bachelor's degree with this internship in Nepal. Uh, I'm with the Himalayan Time. I'm an uh, intern there as a photojournalist. Uh, I'm not paid, but uh, I take pictures every day. I have assignments every night for the day after. And every day it's a surprise to see that my pictures are published. Uh, I had to go through the internship in Nepal. They were helping me to find this. I'm a medical student from the UK and I really wanted to come to Nepal as a place completely different from the UK so that I may be able to compare and contrast and also learn a lot from the Nepalese people here and take something back to the UK with me. Uh, what I love most here is that, I don't know, all the time there are festivals, cultural festivals with food, with uh, very nice costumes, very nice colours and everything looks so beautiful. I don't know, we don't have such things in Europe. We don't have celebration like you have here. It's such a pleasure for me to go there and take pictures of this because I see so many colorful things and so much happiness and sharing and this is the thing that I appreciate the most here. You have human rights researchers like me and a couple of others. And uh, you have people that do religious studies. You have uh, nurses, you have doctors, and you have photographers. The mix of uh, of people from different backgrounds, from different countries. Um, and it's good to learn from the other interns as well because some of them have been here longer than we have. There's a lot of things unexpected, you know, like there's a lot of things you don't know about it. But I think if you're really open and willing to get the things to know, I mean, uh, either on the culture, the food, the people, I mean, so something you heard a lot about Nepal before you came is like very lovely people and they're willing to help you, which is totally true. It's, it's wonderful that you can travel from one end of Nepal to the other and just meet completely different people. People all look slightly different, they're from different um, origins, from ethnic origins, um, they work in completely different jobs. Um, I often find the people here are very strong, especially the women, because they do a lot of manual work and everyone seems to have their role in their community and it's incredible that in such a small square kilometres that you have such a diverse group of people and indeed a diverse landscape. I look forward to exploring it more. It's pretty easy to conciliate the academic aspect and the cultural aspect. It's a mix that go well together. I was just hoping to live a great experience and discover everything once I arrive. And I'm really not disappointed. Everything is so cool. Nepal is very economical. The people make do with everything they have. They are very um, creative with what they have, with their food, with their materials and I think that because everything is so cheap, if you're on a budget you will definitely be able to stay here for a very long while. I like momos, I've heard they're a delicacy here, or they're a common food here. Rice is quite a staple part of the Nepalese diet so People before they come should probably be aware that they will eat a lot of rice here. Overall the food has been really tasty. It's quite a lot of vegetarian options that's opened my my horizons to vegetarian food. We live with a Nepali family and they are very lovely. We call it the lovely home. The family are very welcoming. 
when you walk in the door, you know, you're told this is your home. The experience I'm living with this family is just unforgettable because they give me so much love and I feel very close to everyone here. And it's like having a family away from a family at home. Uh, now it's going to be hard to leave Nepal. I couldn't suggest any other place better.